Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today, we need to have a little bit of a look at a brand new kind of product which is coming to the Pokemon trading card game, which sounds awesome. We've seen listings for these go up. This seems to be absolutely legit. And what it's called is my first battle box. And that really should give you a hint as to the kind of product we're talking about here. When it says, my first battle box, we're not talking about some kind of product which is intended for veterans. Those amazing League Battle Decks, the praises of which I've been singing since they first came out, that give you tournament level decks, like the Palkia one that came out recently, or the Mew one that's like 16 cards away from the deck that got top 8 at Worlds. Yeah, they're amazing. This isn't that, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't that. It's called My First Battle Box. It's intended for complete beginners. And I'm going to tell you what, i got kids that are going to start learning to play the game soon. I've got friends who keep telling me to learn to play the game or teach them how to learn to play the game. This is a kind of product I am definitely going to buy. Now, what we've got here is... Now, it's actually coming out on September the 29th. That's literally my birthday. Now, obviously, we've seen listings online. These are subject to change, etc. This is not any kind of promise or guarantee, let's be clear. But it comes out on my birthday. Do you know what I'm going to do on my birthday? I'm going to get this. And then I'm going to start teaching my friends and family how to learn to play. Maybe I'll try using this to teach my five-year-old daughter how to play. Because she's pretty clever. And I think... She's going to be sensible enough and clever enough to learn how to play this game. And that's awesome. Don't know why I said sensible. I believe she can learn to play this game. And I think this sounds like a great product. And that sounds like a great birthday. Now, what you get are two sets of 17-card decks. Two 17-card decks. We'll come back to that. Two playmats designed for single-player use. They're clearly good. They say laminated, but they're clearly going to be the paper ones. A rule book. Some damage counters, six tokens for prizes, one larger coin, and one plastic baggie, presumably to keep stuff in. I'm going to gloss over that, I'll be honest with you. Now, there are two things that really jump out when we talk about this product. Firstly, 17 card decks, and secondly, six tokens for prizes. Well, you don't need to be a genius to be able to figure out you're not putting out prize cards in this game. That's not happening. And again, if you think about this from the point of view of a new player, this sounds amazing. Because one of the problems that we get quite a bit is the wrong card surprise. Oh no, I had, I mean, you know, my, my favorite one ever was when I was playing against somebody at a League Cup and they had all four Blitzel prized. They played no secondary attackers. I was Blitz, uh, Zebrite, Zeb Striker, Garboda. There we go. If anybody's wondering, it was kind of hilarious. But my point is, they literally had no Blitzel for like the entire game. And then they went and scooped, as you would imagine they would. And then we, we moved on to game two. That's the kind of thing that can happen. For experienced players, prize cards are part of the game. For newer players, Prize cards are a pain that gets in the way. This helps take that away. That's lovely. We've still got the six prize elements, but now we're taking away the whole issue of, I had a good card prize. I can't do what I want. I'm looking for this card, but I can't find it because it's prized, etc. None of that is there. I love it. 17 card decks. We, we play with 60 card decks. Like if we take the latest EX decks, they're the ones that are also beginning level products. We'll talk about them a little bit in a moment. Uh, the Chen Pao one coming looks pretty cool. They're 60 card decks. The League Battle decks are 60 card decks. The whole point is we play with 60 card decks. So why would we possibly be playing with 17 card decks? To help teach people how to play. Now, bearing in mind, and why 17, 17 actually makes perfect sense. Why does 17 make sense? Well, remember, we're not putting prize cards out. We're starting the game with an opening hand of seven cards. So it's a deck of 10. 10 is a nice round number, plus your opening hand of seven. So I know 17 sounds like a weird number on the face of it, and it does. But if you think about it as my opening hand, 
plus a deck of 10 cards. Well, a deck of 10 cards makes absolute perfect sense. That's awesome. And then, like I say, you've got your tokens, so you're not putting out prize cards. This sounds genuinely brilliant. I adore this. Now, I don't have all the information. I don't have perfect information. I think that's fair to say. But basically, what this means is, it is very... And again, we've seen a listing with a basically a contents list, all right? We don't have perfect information, and I'm not pretending we have perfect information. Let's be clear. But from everything we're seeing, this seems pretty obviously designed as a beginner-level product. This seems to be a proper learn-to-play product, but, and this phrase is weird, but it makes sense to me, it is aggressively beginner-level in a way which I don't think we've had a product, maybe ever. In the same way that the League Battle Deck is aggressively learned to be competitive in a way that we've not seen, I think this is beginner aggressively in a way that we've just not seen. And I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love it. Because the League Battle Decks have been stunning for getting people into a situation where they can learn to play competitively quickly. And I think the this product sounds like exactly the same thing, but for beginners. And I think we need it. Now, if we have a look at some other products that we've had in the not-too-distant past, obviously we're going to be putting this side-by-side -side with the Battle Academy. And I've been saying since the launch that the Battle Academy is a stunning product, and I've been recommending it very highly. That opinion has not changed. Now, remember, there are two versions of the Battle Academy, but basically both of them give you free decks that don't hit weakness and resistance, that basically let you learn how to play the game. It is it's basically the Pokemon TCG reimagined as a board game, but it's still the Pokemon TCG. What that means is that you can still buy booster packs and add to it. You can still turn it into the Pokemon trading card game proper if you want, but you can just literally play this as a board game with just three different decks and go around and never have to do anything else and never have to buy any other cards. And for this reason, I've always been a huge fan of the Battle Academy. And I have friends who have bought the Battle Academy to play with their kids. And inevitably, me being me, every friend I have that's bought this, and there are a few, has eventually come back to me with the very same question. All right, Wossy. We'll although they generally tend to not call me Wossy. We'll what do I do now? We've got the Battle Academy, we play with the free decks, we like it, my kid's enjoying it, where, where do we go now? Is it time to buy packs? And don't tell Pokemon I said this, but my advice to them is always, no, don't buy packs. Because if you're learning to play the Battle Academy, and you're enjoying playing the Pokemon trading card game with pre-constructed decks, where you don't have to worry about getting enough copies of every card, you don't have to worry about buying packs or singles or any of that, what you really want are the V Battle Decks, or as they are nowadays, the EX Battle Decks. That is, as far as I'm concerned, the next step. First, you use the Battle Academy. Then you move on and play with EX decks or V decks. Because they are, again, pre-constructed decks that, from what I've seen, seem to be about the same level as the Battle Academy. And they're very easy. And that's the thing. The kind of people that learn to play with the Battle Academy are generally looking for ease of play. They don't want to buy a couple of booster boxes go on Limitless and find a deck list, and then go and buy a bunch of singles to make up the cards they don't have from buying a couple of booster boxes. That's what I want to do. And I'm assuming a bunch of you fit into that camp, but a lot of people, when they're learning to play and teaching their kids, they want easy play. Which is why the combination of Battle Academy and V decks or EX decks have been amazing. And then when you're ready, you move on to the League Battle decks. This is... It's kind of like step one or step zero. And I absolutely adore it. Because I can see a lot of my friends, I'm going to be like, right, go and buy this. Then move on to the League Battle decks. Then move on to the EX decks. And then you can go into proper booster packs and all of that if you wish from there. And I adore this. And this actually says something to me quite significant and profound about the way the Pokemon company are thinking about the Pokemon trading card game. They are really making a proper effort to get everyone included. 
This, see, and again, we've only got a listing. Let's not get over the top. Things could change. There might be information we don't have that changes how we think about this. But this seems to be Pokemon going right. What about those people that really want to learn to play, but they don't want to muck around with 60 card decks, and they want it to be as easy as possible? This seems to be that product, and I've told you a couple of times, I'm going to tell you again, I could not be much more in favor of this. I love this. This is almost certainly going to be the first thing I use to teach my kids how to play the Pokemon TCG, and I am absolutely over the moon delighted. This is wonderful, and I love it. And between this and League Battle Decks, I've got to say, there is somebody at the Pokemon Company who is clearly making a real effort to make this game as accessible to all different kinds of people as they can, and I think that is absolutely wonderful. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your theories. I want to know anything you want to tell me. I want to know if this sounds like the kind of product that you want to be picking up. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Dojo, who's one of our newer patrons and seems to be a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the apparent loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.